In the header panel, you can set the layout for your header. To better understand different header layouts, let's see what the icons represent. The thick line that you see on the left is the logo as well as the logo widget area. The three thin lines are the navbar menu as well as widgets published in the navbar area. In my case, it's the sign up button. And the search represents all the widgets published in the header area. Some layouts can split or push items of a position, which are shown as ellipses. Right now, I have a horizontal left layout. As you can see on the icon, the logo and the navbar areas are left aligned, and the header area is right aligned. You can also set the maximum content width for the header and navbar. Choose between the default, small, large and x-large to set a fixed max width. Or choose the expand option to expand the header to the full width of the viewport, keeping a small padding to the left and right. Optionally, you can remove the logo padding for layouts where the logo is positioned on the left. This is useful, for example, where logos have colored backgrounds. Of course, you can choose a different layout. In the horizontal layouts, the logo as well as the navbar and header areas are displayed side by side with different alignments. For example, you can choose the horizontal center layout, horizontal right, horizontal justify, or horizontal center logo. There are also different stack layouts. The logo as well as the navbar and header areas are displayed above each other and are centered horizontally. In the stack center C layout, the header area is split and aligned to the left and right, while the logo is placed in the middle. By default, the logo is placed automatically between the items, but you can optionally set the number of items after which the items are split. For example, this may be needed if menu items have different length or if additional widgets are published in the area. Since I only have one widget, there is no need to split items. In the Stack Center split layouts, the menu items of the navbar are split and the logo is placed in the middle. Here again, there is an option to split items. So let's split the items after two items. The same can be done for the Stack Center split B layout. In the Stack Left layout, the logo and the header area are displayed on the left and right, while the navbar is shown below. In this layout, there is an option to push widgets published in the navbar area to the right of the layout. Finally, you can also select a Stack Justify layout. Here as well, the logo and the header area are displayed on the left and right, and the navbar is justified below.